Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna unbox another item from Hypergear. It's limited edition Hypergear Windbreaker Basic. So I literally got two pieces, turquoise and grey. Let's just unbox this thing and check them out. Okay, one grey and then two turquoise. Yep, mm, that's it. They came in this packet. I ordered L size by the way. Hopefully they will fit me nicely. Obviously, just like the dry pack I bought from them, these items appears to be packable as well, which what I love the most about hyper gear items. So yeah, let's take off this tag first. Just that, the thing is, their packing method is not really what I'm expecting. The pouch for packing is actually separable. It's not like other packable garments that I bought before, which comes with a pocket to packet attached to the garments. This one from Hypergear are not. It's separable. The pouch is not attached to the windbreaker. This is it. This is the front, and you can see there's Hypergear logo. This is the zippers. Open it. It doesn't come with tag, which is lovely because I really do not like tags. It's just printed on the garments, which is lovely. Let's just try them on. Okay, so this is a pocket. <laughs> I'm not so sure if this acts like an inner pocket. Oh, no, <laughs> silly me. Got pockets on the side, and let's try to zip it. And there you go, I'm in my windbreaker. How do I look? Do I look like I came from the North Pole? <laughs> I look silly. <laughs> Sorry. I'm wearing L size. I am 173 tall, 78 kilo now. Yeah, it actually fits me perfectly. It's not too loose and not too tight. I'm actually loving the size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try the grey one. I was just wearing it for a very brief moment, but I could feel that I am already sweating. In terms of the ability as a windbreaker, this is actually not bad at all. And now the grey one, very much the same. Off the tag, take out from the pouch. Yes, very much the same. To be completely honest, I love this color more, but if I'm in the mood to be a little bit more fun, then I should go with the turquoise one, obviously. Yeah, quality-wise, they look very much the same. Perhaps this one has a neater sewing work compared to this one. This one has some not very clean work. You can see the seams are not really neat. I don't know if it's a defect or what. The grey one have a better build, but yeah, I could still see some holes through the seams. I think they could do well in light rain, but not so sure with heavy rains. And let's see how do I look in grey. This is it. This is me in grey. I am absolutely loving the material. It's very, very, very light. It's thin, but I do trust the waterproof ability of the fabric. Just that in terms of the seams, I'm not really sure. And yeah, maybe I should turn around. And yes, there are three parts that comes with bands. The hoodie, the wrist, and also here, yeah, the bottom of the jacket. Very thin band. Yeah. I do believe this is very nice to wear if you're going for a run or a jog because it's not heavy at all. Very, very, very light. It didn't feel like you're actually wearing like a jacket. Not at all because it's very thin and very lightweight. That is a very big plus for this jacket, especially if you are planning to wear them to go for a run. This would be perfect for a run and also for any other, you know, like outdoor activities that needs you to be completely off from any unwanted Wait, yeah, this windbreaker jacket is absolutely good. I'm absolutely loving the material, but I'm not so sure about the waterproof. Again, I do trust they could go with light rain, but I'm not really sure if they could go with heavy rain. So I think that's it for now for this video. Until next time, bye bye.